Me being half plastered. Listening to fucking trucks fly past. Maybe they're outside. Slow. What the fuck is that? I knew it. They were driving slow. Look at the fucking cunts. Bastards. They're fucking right out there sweeping the street. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fuck you from my fucking homeless house. <laughs> I've got to tone it down. Oh, fuck. Fucking funny shit. Oh, I'm, I'm practically on the news fucking two hours a day every day anyway. You know I me, mean? I comment on everything on the news, especially the voice lately. I used to comment more on Facebook because it was easier. It's fucking you got to make a video, you got to fucking make a video. But, um, with, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, the news, I was looking at the news, and I'm always in the news, and, and I couldn't help it this time, yeah, domestic violence, there's a picture of some bloke grabbing down a girl, look guys, look, 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 look let me tell you this, let me tell you this, there's fucking nothing better in the world than a woman's vagina. Nothing, there's fucking nothing better in the world than fucking sex. Fuck, it's good. But, yeah, I'm... Uh, it's weird because I'm over that. Like, it's not good for me anymore. I couldn't give a fuck, but... When it was interesting. <laughs> fuck it, when it was interesting. <laughs> when it was interesting. When it was interesting. Yeah, it was fucking best shit ever. Absolutely best. But it's, you know, you don't... <laughs> what the fuck's the point of trying to, you know, manhandle a woman? Like well, some blokes. Oh, I'm looking at the fucking thing, the cunt now, and it's the most disgusting, vile thing I've ever seen. The only reason that, like, a woman's, a man and woman are enjoyable together is because it's totally open, honest, you know, it's you know, willing. You know, even a baby knows this. You know, remember we used to remember the game Kiss and Chase, in fucking year, year four, year one. And you know, uh, uh, Belinda Miller, fuck, oh my god, I remember Ashley Cooper, Belinda Miller. Belinda, can I kiss you and run? No, okay. And then I'd walk off. Even kids know at that age. You know, the, the girl said, no, you can't just kiss her. And mind you, there was a fucking Michael. <laughs> What's the fuck? Billy Chang. It was not Billy Chang. Howard Chang. Billy Chang's from St. Paul's. Howard Chang. And they just got up to the girl. <laughs> Start fucking screaming. <laughs> oh, that fucking funny shit. It's just... It was imbued to me, at least. You just... You don't manhandle women. You don't abuse them. They're not toys. They're not yours to... Man, handle. They're just they're humans. That's fucking. I don't. I'm usually a man of very many words, but I can't. What goes through a man's brain when they physically exert themselves on a woman? What is the point? What the fuck is the point? What's the point of physically exerting yourself on a woman? It's just so wrong. It's so stupid. And, and it's not always to do with sex. And now I'm thinking about it. Like, it's not just... Domestic violence isn't just sex-related. I mean, it's, that's rape. But you get my point. You know, most relationships revolve around sex anyway. At least for me. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love sex. It's the best. Be a fucking idiot to pretend you don't like it. But, yeah. That was my experience anyway. Um... And, uh, yeah, but even when it's not sexual, then it's it's still domestic. It's You don't exert your power, influence over a woman by force. And there are men who do that sexually, and that's just, that's, that comes up to mind. Like, there are men who want to dominate women sexually, uh, emotionally, domestically. I guess that's, uh, I don't understand domestic violence. I 
what did men do it? It's fucking weird. Why did men fucking do it? They're fucking monks. Like, why don't you fight me or something? What you fucking misses? And don't fight me with fucking three or four other blokes. Fuck, I hate that when guys want to fight me and they come to a fight with fucking five or six other blokes. Fuck me dead. Me and man come alone. We can make some love in the park and I can do some domestic violence on you. That's how I feel. Yeah. Why the why would you touch a woman? I slapped a woman once. My, my ex, the same ex I talk, spoke about in the other video, Kat. That was after she fucking headbutted me, kicked me, and fucking punched me about 10,000 times. And I just I didn't know what to do. This thing wouldn't stop. And she started smashing everything in the room. And it was automatic. I couldn't help it. It was just like, bang! And it was like, fuck, okay, she stopped, but she's on the floor and very dizzy. And for 10 seconds, she wasn't moving. And I, that was the last time I ever slapped a person. I was 16. No, I was 17. She was 15. Yeah. 15, 16. Whatever she was, because I was a year and a bit older than her. But she fucking, she, she copped a slap. That was after being kicked in the balls, headbutt. And she did all that because she suspected that I was cheating on her. It was a fucking weird way to get back at me. Or to, she didn't fuck around. She was trying to fucking kill me. She was, if she had a knife, she would have tried to kill me. And it was... How it happened, it was the funniest fucking thing. But fuck, anyway, that was that was my um, experience of domestic violence. The first and only time in my life and never again. Other than that, if I I learnt after that that if I had to um, neut neut neutralise the situation, if I had to you know, sort of calm the woman down or just bear hug her, because I have enough strength to do that. I, I should have done that to her, because I could have done that easily and didn't think. I didn't know. It was the first time I had a woman that had attacked me so viciously. She turned into a fucking man. She was fucking screaming, you know, you're fucking putting your dick in this fucking person, you're doing this, you're doing that. And, oh, I didn't do any of it, but she believed it. She was going nuts. She was trying to fucking kill me. Fuck, that's funny. I reckon if she had a gun, she would have shot me in the legs or fucking something like that. Anyway, she was devastated. And all it was bullshit. She wasn't there. I wasn't cheating on her. Fuck, I don't know. That was like one of the fucking 50 times she thought I was cheating on her. Fuck me, Dad. But that was it for me. And I knew that it was wrong. I just knew, even though I was defending myself, and I could I could easily validate. And, and it is self-defense. It's actually not technically wrong, but it's still wrong. Why do you, why didn't men hit girls? Why didn't men hit women? Anyway, and, and it's it's the whole spectrum. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm saying this now too because I've defended rugby league players many times before uh, on sexual encounters, like Jared Hayne especially. I don't believe he's guilty. I, I, look, at the end of the day, there are cops out there who just want to fuck other people and ruin their reputation and all that sort of stuff and there's politics behind it and then they're controlling the cops and you know and then when you go into the big fucking field Asia and cops and all that sort of stuff they'll fucking do anything to get their way they'll bullshit anything they'll make anybody bullshit anything you know and if they do that can you imagine what some women do and how she bullshitted against Hain so I, I support Hain the whole way um, he's, he pro it was probably poor form. He probably didn't need to eat a vagina, literally. Off, but um, was it rape? I don't think so. I, I, he probably injured her pussy, but fuck. You know what? Clown hasn't. I, I don't think it's. I, I severely don't think he's a fucking sexual criminal. But because I've defended some football players in that in that way, because it's just clear bullshit. It doesn't mean that, how do I put it? It doesn't mean that the true, like the, the times that do happen, that I'd, that like, you could condone that in any shape or form. I'm simply saying that he's, he didn't do that. He doesn't fit that criteria. It's, he's the opposite of that. And equally, if you're a woman who makes up that sort of stuff, you're worse than a rapist. You're a fucking piece of shit. 
to say, to make up that sort of stuff on blokes or to, to fucking play police line or do something like that. But um, you know, and then there are other there, there are other actual yeah you know, there are football players there are other people out there who who do use their force their renown their all sorts of weird shit you know, fucking strength and, and they use it to sexually intimidate women and have sex with them and do weird shit and that's just wrong that's absolutely fucking wrong absolutely wrong so that's why I th I'm thinking of this now because I've come to the defence of Hayne before and some other footy players but then again there are some people out there who not only bash girls like I'm seeing on this news but who actually sexually you know, force it away with women uh, none of it's on none of it's acceptable none of it's acceptable I'm going to fucking stop drinking start to fall asleep this is what happens when I drink myself straight my eyes are fluttering <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> oh fuck I want to do that again out the window oh my god yeah no um... fuck A man, any man who fucking just forces a woman, and that force is all encompassing. It's domestic, it's sexual, it's professional, it's everything. Any man who tries to dominate a woman in any form of coercion, violence, physicality, what's a fucking time? 58. Oh, go to sleep soon. Physicality, emotionally, any of that sort of stuff. Any man who just uses his, he abuses women. I just, I can't look at like a man. I used to. It's interesting because I used to tell off my girlfriend. So I'm not a hypocrite. I admit this sort of stuff. I used to tell off my girlfriend in exactly the same way. I hate. And I look back now at that person and think, why the fuck did I do that? That's fucking weird. That's not me. She fucking made me angry. I treated her like a man because that's the way she carried on. But that, that's, uh, nonetheless, it's wrong. That was when I was 16, 17. So I look back at those times of me getting angry. And I learned from that. When I was at Patricia, there's only one time in two years I told her off. I mean, we argue, you know, as you all do, but you know, but not, not in an angry tone. There's only one time I was actually angry at her. And even then, I apologized to her and we kissed and we made up. And every other woman since, zilch, nothing. No, I get, like, I never raise my voice. I just know it's not right. So I learned after Katarina. That was my, that was, she was my first proper experience, really, in, in a relationship wise, not sex wise, because I was. <laughs> <laughs> fucking licking girls comes for fucking eight hours. Fuck me, dude. Eight hours. What the fuck was she doing just sitting there for eight hours just licking me liquor? That's fucking bad. Eight fucking hours. But she didn't get tired. She didn't just go, oh, can you stop now? So eight hours later. She, fuck, she must... She must have a long attention span. How do you get enjoyment for eight hours? And or even even worse, me. But what the fuck was I doing, doing that for eight hours? That, has, that had to be the weirdest sex encounter in human history. Eight fucking hours on the gun. That is fucking... What the fuck? That's a Guinness Book record. Some kind of record. Even if it's not Guinness, it must be Australian or something. That's a fucking record. Eight hours straight. Didn't need an oxygen mask, didn't need anything. It just fucking went, went for gold. Yeah, fuck, I'm going off on a tangent now. Um, yeah, well, with... My first proper relationship, Katarina. I learned uh, straight away after that, you know, it's not how you argue with women, it's not how you carry on. I treated her like, you know, when we got into an argument, I treated her like one of the boys at footy. Like, she was like a football tackling bag or something. What the fuck? No, it was wrong. And then I just, straight after her, I knew that the next woman I'm with, no chance. There's no chance in hell I'm going to carry, carry on like that. But with her, I was... 
never violent, as I said, that was only that one slap, and it was really in self-defense, but unacceptable. But when it came to arguments, fuck, I had a filthy mouth. I still do, but not to women. I learned that. I taught myself that. I was nobody taught me that. Fuck, I should have done the opposite if I'd learned from other people. But fuck, I. Oh, never again. Never, never will you hear me swear at a woman, degrade them. Well, that has actually that, that happened accidentally. Um, <laughs> you, you'll never hear me do anything like that. Never, not in a million years. And just looking at that, fuck it. That just it shocked my brain. Looking at that, it's right on the newspaper. I fucking took a screenshot. It's right there. It scared my brain. It was like, what the fuck? It was like hey, I'm choking the woman down. And looking at that, I wanted to punch my phone and throw it at the wall. I actually wanted to fucking get up and start punching it, but he's not here. That's fucking... That, that makes me angry. I'm still angry, but I'm happy because I'm drunk, so I'm just sort of balancing it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck, yeah! <laughs> yeah, no, I'm... Men, men, men. You, you're doing it wrong. You don't touch women. You don't sexually whatever women you know nothing is a zilch there's nothing nothing in this world better than willingness a woman who's interested in you how can how do you get off on another woman not interested in you but you know you somehow trying to coerce her how does that how does that satisfy you the most satisfying thing in life is when another person actually is interested in you actually it, oh this is gonna sound really weird but it, and this has been me since i was a fucking i ever f took interest in women as a fucking 10 year old 11 year old you know i find it better to be rejected like and i have been rejected before i find it better to be rejected like because the woman's only being honest. It's like, okay, that person's not into you. Well, fucking thank God for that. It's, it, it's, it's the best. It's the best thing in the world to be rejected. How the fuck do I put it into words? Because then the opposite. There are people who are interested in you, and it's like this person is interested. This is satisfying because there's a mutual attraction. There's a mutual thing. I mean. And it's the same at all levels. It's it's the same even in domestic situations. I mean, if it's not working, you just... You don't make it happen by bashing the person, choking them, which is what the fucking news showed. It's, fuck. That makes me angry. You just... There's no point in doing that. Even if the woman plays games, that's the whole thing. That's, women play games. We know that as men. You know, men know that women play games. I, I fucking say it all the time. It's one of the reasons I don't want to, one of the reasons I don't ever want to be in a relationship again. No fucking chance. Especially not with actress Sheila. Jesus Christ, the fucking shit that would come out of her. Fuck me dead. If she didn't get her way, she'd probably I'm not even gonna go there. She'd fucking pull a Jared Ain. Oh, fuck it. He, he fucking look, he swallowed my fucking vagina. I've got my ovaries left. He fucking sucked them out. She's an actress. She'd fucking come up with anything. Fuck that. I don't want no fucking woman like that. So, you know, it's it comes out of me. This is what I think, but... Do I... Does that mean... How do I put it? Do women not have a right to, you know, do what they do as women? No, they have every right to do it. You just don't have a right as a man to force yourself on them and make them not do things that they do, even if you don't like it. It, just, it doesn't mean you can hit them. It doesn't mean that you can make them do what you want them to do, even if they're wrong. If you're not happy with them, you walk away. That's take strength. You can't. Women are not there to be controlled or like turned in a particular way. That's that's why a lot of women have, you know, after I've broken up with them, they've chased me for another year or two because they think I'm playing a psychological fucking game, but I'm not. I just I, I I'm not I don't. I'm not going to sit there forever and try to make them do something. I'm not going to argue with them. I'm not going to reason with them. I'm not going to... 
And I'm not fucking with you. There's, there's a person that's been chasing me for nearly five years. Still, uh, she's a very good-looking woman, a very lovely woman. But I'm not going to talk to you to make you do something you don't want to do. I'm not going to force you to do something. You're clearly being a fuckwit, and you clearly can't fucking communicate properly. I'm not happy with you, and I'm not happy with that. That's it. You know, off you go. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna make you not do that. You, you can do that, but bye bye. That's, <laughs> that's fucking simple. But I, no man has a right to make a person change, to make a woman even say a fucking little word different. No man has a right to do that. No man has a right to do that. Nothing like that. That's just fucking shit. Makes me so angry. And likewise, a woman doesn't have the right to do the same either. Although, if you ask me, women tend to get their way more because they're just women. That's the beauty of it. That's a, a man knows. A man knows how to fucking you know be with a woman. He, you know, it's just you know these days it's different. It's fucked. It's a fucked up world. Fuck! I can go on forever. It's been twenty one minutes. Fuck. No more alcohol. <laughs>